love The Doctor Falls. The Doctor Falls is quite literally one of my favorite Doctor Who episodes. It's definitely one of my favorite New Who episodes. The episode has two masters, one Doctor, and one Cyberman companion. Oh yeah, it also has Nardo as well. You can't forget Nardo. I'm actually a Nardo fan, to be honest, but like... Nardo isn't like the focus of this episode. He kind of takes a little bad seat. He's still good though. Anyway, without further ado, without my rambling, let's get into this particular episode I'm going to be talking about. If you haven't already guessed, this is about to be about the Doctor Who, New Who episode titled The Doctor Falls. One of my all-time favorite episodes that I really am excited to talk to you guys about. So let's get into the video and to the episode itself. The episode pretty much starts off a little after the events of the previous episode, in which Bill was cyberized. The master returned, Jensen's master, and basically Missy teamed up with him. At one point, the doctor was actually knocked out and put in a wheelchair, funnily enough. And he's forced to watch the most horrifying thing a person could. The same person just flirting with themselves and dancing with each other. Which is a pretty fun scene, not gonna lie. I just really loved Sims and Gomez's performance in this episode. It is really great. It really... Can I also say that Rachel Talivla? I might have said that name wrong. But she is the director for this particular episode. And it looks pretty great to me, honest. She does an awesome job directing. Mary Goes music plus Moffat's writing and Talivla's directing. It makes for a really great episode to watch. And it's a really enjoyable ride as well. The basic plot of this particular episode is that the Doctor is trapped on this Modassian ship in which Cybermen are trying to destroy the last pocket of humanity. Basically, the Cybermen are evolving and trying to reformat themselves like they're supposed to, like they usually do. And they're on the lower levels while the Doctor and the rest are on the upper levels of the spacecraft. I honestly like the states of this particular episode. The Doctor is pretty much not doing good. He's regenerating. He's trying to hold back the regeneration itself, which you can just see moments where the regeneration is trying to... His body is too damaged, and he, his body is trying to cope with it with regeneration. This thing goes on for the whole episode with the Doctor trying to fight back his regeneration just trying to save these people it's like it's one of my favorite doctor moments like at the end which i am going to discuss later on but it's a great moment actually but for now let's go back to the plot the doctor's dying it and trying to hold back his regeneration the whole episode with nardo attempting to help the people out of the town to actually go to the upper levels and bill dealing with the fact that she's a cyberman I love whenever it's Bill's point of view, we see her as a Cyberman, but when the perception is broken, he's a full Cyberman, not a person like she is without people telling her. So she appears as either Bill, whenever no one's paying attention, wherever it's her point of view, but whenever that perception is broken, boom, full Cyberman. It's so, it's so good. The sad thing is, her fate is basically sealed at this point. She can't be human anymore. She talks to the doctor about it, how she feels about not being able to be herself again. And yeah, the doctor understands it. It's a sad scene. Each scene with Bill and the doctor is kind of heart wrenching Because you know this is going to be the final episode together. Well, until the Christmas special. But it's still sad to see. As for the two masters, both Sims and Gomez play off each other pretty well. They're both pretty funny and definitely steal the show from time to time. The Where I Fall speech has to be one of my favorite speeches of the whole show. Twelve pretty much desperately pleading with both incarnations of his old time friend for their help. This right here really emphasizes how much Twelve has changed throughout the show. Missy really wants to reach out and help the doctor and help him do this and stand with him. It's a really sad scene. The friendship is coming back. I mean, they want to help each other. It's just really great. And people who criticize Moffat's writing really should look at the Where I Fall scene. It's 
a really great scene that I think is underappreciated, especially like when the Whitaker area took over to such greatness. The Sim Master pretty much just is not into it and he basically spits in the doctor's face and basically says, Why would he do that? He's the master. It's such great reactions from both of them. And so in character for like the Sims master. Anyway, after that, they basically just leave for Sims Tardis, which he left back in the same area where they were at the last episode at the lower levels of the Modassian ship instead of the upper levels. So they basically made their way towards the elevator toward that location. Honestly, don't know if there are a lot of Nardo fans in Doctor Who at all, but I think there should be. Nardo is great in this episode. Figuring out a plan to actually defeat the Cybermen is what Nardo is here for. Basically, the environment that they're actually in can actually be destroyed or create some miniature explosions. Like, they actually explode a bush and that creates a miniature explosion. It's a good plan that Nardo actually comes up with and one of the reasons why I actually like him as a companion. Nardo even wants to stay, to be honest. He wants to be the one to sacrifice himself instead of the doctor or be there with the doctor but the doctor ensures him that he can't it's his sacrifice to make he's the one who has to sacrifice himself he wants Nardo to basically get out of there as well it's a sad scene where Nardo, Bill and the doctor are forced to say goodbye to one another with them knowing that they might not see one another anytime soon Anyway, let's go to a lighter note with the two masters. Missy realizing what she wants to do in order to make sure her timeline stays intact, betrays and basically makes sure that the master has to regenerate from a wound she manufactured. Missy, however, gets vaporized by the master and pretty much dies. Without any choice, she can't even regenerate as well. The master goes back to his TARDIS, regenerating to Missy at some point, I guess. Unless you view as a big finish. This is another one of my favorite scenes, to be honest. Missy gets her, like, redemption still, and she dies. But without the doctor even realizing that she was even to go back for him, it's, it's still a sad scene as well. One line in particular that got me a lot harder than I thought it would was before the doctor faces the side man, he simply states this, without hope, without witness, without reward, such a doctor moment. Once again, I'm pointing out this line in particular to state how much 12 has really developed as a character. It's a great doctor moment and one of my favorite Capaldi moments as a whole. If anyone argues with how much of a great doctor that Capaldi was, just show them this scene. Anyway, 12 faces the Cybermen, and it's one of my best moments of the show. 12 pretty much faces against as many Cybermen as he can with his sonic screwdriver, and pretty much uses the environment like Nardo did at the beginning of the episode to make sure that no Cybermen can even get to the survivors. He even mentions previous victories against the Cybermen, which is a nice callback to the classic era of Doctor Who and like some particular Cyberman episodes. A variation of the Shepherd Boy plays, and it's so good to listen to. The Shepherd's Boy is like one of my favorite Mary Gold pieces that he ever composed, and hearing it again with the Doctor's last moment is so great. But there's too many Cybermen for him to face, so he's wounded by a Modassian Cyberman, and he replies with the most heartbreaking tone with saying, Hello, I'm the Doctor. He's trying to hold on and stop his regeneration, but eventually it's just too much. And he tells himself to let it go as well, which is just a tragic line. Earlier, Nardo actually suggested that the doctor would actually play hero and take as many Cybermen with him. And that's exactly what he does. He detonates the whole floor, taking as many Cybermen as he can with him, and almost dying in the process. And while laying down, he says, pity, I thought there would be stars. It's such a great line that always sticks in my head when remembering 12. Just a great doctor as well. This episode in particular has so many great lines that are so memorable that I think people just 
sleep on it, just not remembering as a whole. So a damaged Bill Pot finds her daughter and mourns him, and then her space girlfriend shows up and makes Bill a real girl again. They deposit him back in the TARDIS, and they decide to explore the galaxy together. After that, the daughter is awakened by his past companions calling his name. He's regenerating, but he doesn't want to. So he starts the process because he's too tired and doesn't want to change anymore. That honestly hits hard. The TARDIS, however, doesn't agree and takes the daughter to a very familiar location where he meets a very familiar face. It's another man who claims to be the Doctor. The original, you might say. And you see David Bradley as the first Doctor, and he looks fucking dope. Sorry, excuse my language, but I, if you've seen Adventure of Time, then you know he looks amazing as the first Doctor, and amazing as uh, William Hartnell as well. And that's where this particular episode ends, and you kind of say it was an amazing emotional ride for me. After finishing this particular episode, I have to say that Doctor Falls is still a great episode. Everyone seems like they're giving their all, and Moffat's writing really is the best. There's so many heartbreaking scenes in this episode, from Bill finding out she's a Cyberman, from Nardo saying goodbye to Bill and the daughter, and even Missy's death is sad. Honestly, this episode would have made a great regeneration episode, and it kind of feels like one until it wasn't. Towards Upon a Time is the next episode and the regeneration episode for the 12th Doctor. It also features David Bradley as the first Doctor. He played the first Doctor of technically William Hartnell in Adventure of Time and Space, which is an underrated movie that not enough Doctor Who fans are checking out. It's pretty great. Check it out. Anyway, Twice Upon a Time is a good or great episode to watch. I haven't watched it in a while, so I don't know what to expect from watching. I might make a video about that next, but I very much doubt it. I was about to make a retrospective video about the... Whitaker era, so I just might do that. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate everybody who subscribed, liked, comment, and really just having conversations with me about things you guys like with my videos. Thank you guys like in general stuff you guys just don't like. It's really been illuminating for me because I know what to make my content about in the future. Anyway. At this point, I'm going to still let you guys go. Heads up though, I do have a Patreon if you guys want to support me that way. The link is in the description. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in another video. Thank you. Have a good day. Never be cool. Never be cowardly. Never be pants.